And someone else who played a, a huge role yesterday was Commander Nicola Cripps. Now, Nicola was one of the gun carriage crew who pulled the Queen's coffin from Westminster Abbey to Wellington Arch. She was right at the front, helping lead, and it's the first time female naval officers have been able to take part in this tradition. She joins me now. Nicola, a massive part you had to play there. I know that you had a lot of rehearsal and training, but nothing would prepare you for the actual experience of that it must have been incredible it, it really truly was um it was an amazing experience um very very emotional um on many levels and to be able to be part of the team that that took her majesty to her final resting place uh, was an utter privilege and honor um, that i know was shared between myself um, and the 140 sailors um, that pulled those ropes that pulled the gun carriage itself it was incredible but obviously you know as I know you've served in the Navy, Navy for over 17 years but the emotion must have been quite difficult you know to, to hold it in must have been quite hard for all of you because it was enormous wasn't it? it? It really was there were a couple of times where I had to bite my bottom lip I think for me um, coming up the mall um, was very emotional um, as we came round by Buckingham Palace all the palace staff had come out um, and myself and several of the gun carriage crew had actually served at Buckingham Palace, had, had done changing of the guards some years ago um, and had met lots of those staff. To see them come out in all their different uni uniforms representing the palace um, and, and all their different trades, it, it kind of connected with us. It's something that we have in the Navy. The gun carriage itself was made up of men and women from across the Navy. Um, many of them have different trades, different backgrounds, different experiences. Um, and it's when you come together and we came together, not just as a service, not just as a nation, um, but as a world. And that was really, really evident and really emotional. Um, watching some of the crowds, the way they interacted with each other. Um, it was silent. And yet the amount of people that would reach out and touch the person near them um, just as soon as they saw the coffin come down it really did kind of pull on the heartstrings and it wasn't really until we got back that we could let any of those emotions kind of come out. No, of course, I'm sure you did shed a tear. Of course you did, we all did. Uh, you know, when you take that gun carriage back, because that would have to go back from there. I guess that went back to Buckingham Palace, did it? Yeah, so we came back, uh, we marched, we were the last contingent to march back down. And as we did, many of the crowds were applauding um, and, and saying thank you. And I think again, at that moment, it was like, we haven't, we've been training in our own little bubble for the last 10 days, um, but actually coming back together, dropping the gun carriage off, putting those drags down for the last last time, um, the crew broke out in spontaneous applause. Um, and then we just hugged each other and definitely a few of us girls had a, a few tears to shed. And I'm gonna put it out there, some of the boys did as well. I'm sure they did, and that's absolutely fine. Your husband, of course, serves in the RAF. You've got two children. I guess you won't have seen very much of them over the past 10 days. Um, but, you know, it's, it's your service, it's what you do. Absolutely, and, and men and women of the gun carriage. And um, one of the young ladies I was talking to this week missed her daughter's first birthday. Um, many of the, the crew um, have children themselves. Mm -hmm. And mum, mum guilt or parent guilt is always there, but their sense of duty, their sense of pride, overrides it all and actually what you're going to gain from it as an experience to share with family with friends um, many of the sailors will be able to account their stories for years to come and they're ambassadors to the service to our nation um, something that they take with you know enormous pride um, and and fulfill really well as a duty well you really do Nicola thank you um, for talking to us this morning but thank you for your service and everything that you've done and you'll never forget it will you you'll never forget yesterday no definitely not thank you so much thank you what an amazing woman absolutely and wasn't it it was perfect wasn't it it was just perfect don't forget you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV hub and all the best clips compilations and playlists right here on our channel just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.